With every picture, it's a labor of love. Volunteers making blankets for the smallest patients and leading this love mission is someone who's been there. It's good to know that I'm able to, you know, help other kids in that situation because it's scary and it's lonely and knowing that they'll have something to make, you know, their room a little bit brighter and homier um, is really nice. It's, it's, it's a good feeling. Life is coming full circle for 16-year-old Laura Quillen. The Hanover teen donated love blankets to the Ronald McDonald House of Richmond, the same organization that showed her love and comfort. I knew what they were, but I don't think I realized the extent of what they do and how much their services like reach out into the community. Laura's journey began in 2018, but in 2019, her mystery illness got more intense. Amplified musculoskeletal pain syndrome. So I basically woke up in a lot of pain and then those pain signals became amplified and kind of got stuck in a cycle. It's a condition where a gentle touch causes excruciating pain. I would feel wind and I would want to cry and I had trouble like getting dressed because clothes felt like sandpaper. Touching her hurt her and that just hurt me to know that you know, I couldn't hug my child. Laura's condition escalated to seizure-like activity and blackouts. Spending days in the hospital at VCU Medical Center and St. Mary's, Laura's mom not leaving her side. It was just so scary not knowing really, you know, what's happening to my child. You know, as a mom, like it's, it's emergency after emergency, so you forget to take care of yourself. Laura's mom remembers the Ronald McDonald House cart at the hospital filled with snacks. She also remembers her need for a simple toothbrush. I know that seems silly, but like to feel like a human being again and be able to brush your teeth and they brought me some deodorant and some, you know, shampoo and conditioner and I took a shower, like that, that gives you the strength to be there for your child again. Even though Laura was diagnosed in Richmond, there wasn't a program to treat her complex illness. Laura, now in a wheelchair, will travel with her mom to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia for an intense program. But when you take a seven-week leave of absence from work unpaid, because, of course, Laura had been so sick beforehand, I'd used every single sick day I had. Um, and so, you know, taking an unpaid leave and hotels, you know, are extremely expensive. And then the thought of all the food is extremely expensive. Um, we had known about the Ronald McDonald House in Richmond. And so, and with the cart coming to see us and we knew what they did. So I sought the Ronald McDonald House out. After a stressful and costly week at a hotel, Laura and her mom finally got a room at the Ronald McDonald House of Philadelphia. It became Laura's safe space and it was just such a relief to have somewhere where I could go and I could lay down or just sit in the bath. Um, and I, I think the most relieving thing was that I could cry. You know, they serve us dinner every night and there's food you can get for breakfast. And adding to the comfort. They had therapy dogs that would come every so often and I would go and like that was such a great experience because I miss my dog. And that's where Laura's love for animals and art collided. I actually didn't really get into watercolor until I was at the Ronald McDonald House because I was just itching to create. Laura's creations have led to the opening of her own Etsy store and a custom pet portrait is featured during the Red Shoe Rendezvous silent auction. It's an honor in my head, like I'm, I'm just a 16 year old at a desk, you know, painting stuff because I like it. <laughs> Laura is back in school. She's learning day by day how to live with her pain. Through it all, giving back is how she chooses to live her life. It really does amaze me. She's looking for the good. No other way to do it.